we go. And that's the T gigas. Okay, so first feeding, let's try and do the avicularia pulcapa. Should be hungry. There we go, good take. It never comes out fully, this one. Really nice coloration on this one, but I'm trying to get it to come out so you can see. Oh, oh it's gonna come up for a walk. Probably turn around and go back down. We're gonna see the orange abdomen on this one. You can see the orange hairs there, but I've never really get this one coming out at the moment. There you go, turn around and go back down. There we go, that's better, put a bit of light on. The camera doesn't do it justice really picking it up, it's almost like pink coloration at the back. There you go, turn around and go back down. There you go, you can see the orange. Okay, so let's try this one here, the Nando Chromatis, Brazilian Red and White. Okay, we would do, but I've just noticed we have a malt. There you go, sorry little buddy. Freshly malted, so I'm not going to be feeding this one now. Okay, and this one is the uh, Samuel Paris Cambridge Trinidad Chevron. Good take. So we'll get a close up of the colours. There we go. And the orange toes. Little happy dance from that one. Lassiodora Parabana. This one's always hungry. Let's see. Whoa. What a take. Grabbed hold of the tongs there. Eh? There we go. Getting starting to become a large size now. I think she's. Oh God, I can't actually know. I'm going to have to try and measure her. There we go, another nice take. I love this little spider. I love the way it walks with the abdomen raised. Let's see if we can get a close up look.
Okay, this one here obviously needs no introduction, the golden blue leg baboon. This is the one that ended up having a walkabout in mine for about two days because he managed to escape his enclosure. Zoom out there, see if he's hungry. There we go. Only takes smaller prey, this one. Okay, took two. <laughs> one of my favourite species. And is at the minute redesigning because he was living here and has now made a burrow right down the bottom and also at the top. So he's redesigning his house. You can see it there. Down at the bottom, obviously it's only a tiny sling at the minute, but just the way it feeds is really, really interesting. So I just want to see if it will take anything at the moment. Oh, I don't know if we caught that on the camera, but it actually just bit the small cricket. Obviously the cricket's the same size as the spider, but these huntsmen, I mean not huntsmen, sorry. Um, the wandering spider, as you can see there, it's interacting, it's already bit it, and it will chase it down now. If I can try and get the footage. But I didn't manage to film it the other week when I um, fed it, but it literally bit the cricket. The cricket ran off and died uh, quite some time, well, not really long after. So, and then the uh, spider just literally walked over and it just started eating it. So obviously the venom is quite strong on that one. Yeah, the cricket's going to run straight back to it and I'm going to miss it again. There you go, another bite. You can actually see the venom drop off the front of the... Wandering spider. Okay, so I don't know if you can see that at all there. The cricket has actually died already. You can see the wandering spider and in the foreground there, that is the cricket and it's already died. So the venom must be quite strong of this species. Obviously, you know, the, the red leg wandering spider has got the really strong venom. So this definitely does whack a punch. And the last time he didn't take it straight away, I had to leave him alone. And then I just found him eating, obviously, his meal. So we will leave him be. There we go, so we've got to take. Very good.